90% of the wires underneath the dash on this are green. I have no idea. They're all factory. So, I mean, was International just out there trolling people back in the day? Because <laughs> I have no idea how you would ever work on that. What's up? It is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this video, we are finally going to finish this 1965 International build. Let's go! How So this 65 is a customer truck. It's been here way too long. Really the only thing I need to do to it is finish up the wiring. It still needs exhaust, do a little bit of welding, just a little stuff like that and we can get it out of here. I took it for its first drive last video. Very happy about it. I also have all new gauges for the dash, but it uses the stock instrument panel. Let me see if I can get it. Oh. Right over there. So we need to take all that apart. We're gonna be reusing the panel, but all those old original gauges we can throw away. And then the rest of the wiring shouldn't be that big of a deal. The only bad thing with the new gauges is they're all digital. So, you know, my manual oil pump gauge isn't gonna work. The manual, you know, just all the older style way that they used to read the gauges isn't gonna work anymore. Even this is a newer motor, it's still an 80s motor. It's certainly not, you know, a 2022 gauge or whatever those are. So we have to do some conversions on that. But other than that, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. First thing I'm gonna do though, is rip this dash part. So check it out, I got the dash out. I've never seen this before. Every wire behind it is green. Like 90% of the wires underneath the dash on this are green. I have no idea. They're all factory. This isn't aftermarket. The only aftermarket thing is that gauge and obviously it's different colored wires. So, I mean, was International just out there trolling people back in the day? <laughs> Cause I have no idea how you would ever work on that. I don't know, let's get these old gauges up. Damn, that looks good. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Check this out. Headlights and tail lights. Yeah. Turn signals. We figured it out. We had some rust issues, but I got it taken care of. Turn signals both work. And then the best part, my homemade brake bracket. Hey, brake pedal works. Bada bang. I have ripped all the gauge wires out. We're starting from scratch. I think I had a ground issue because it was blowing fuses on this. I got that figured out. So today has been a lot better than yesterday. Oh yeah, by the way, I probably can't do this one handed. Ignition's working. Two thousand years later. I have been wiring this thing for entirely too long and I had it all done and the goddamn alternator wasn't charging, but we should be good now. Let's check. Uh, can I do this one handed? No. There we go. Ready? There go the gauges. Temperature doesn't kick on because it's not hot right now, but I let it run for 10 minutes and it started climbing. So we just got to clean up all this mess now. The damn alternator wasn't charging. I took it for a drive. I went out a block, realized the alternator wasn't charging, just run right back as quick as I could. <laughs> Are just so beat to hell. <laughs> Fucking these lenses are just broke. So close. 
So great news, it's been a couple days since my last video. We finally are getting this thing into exhaust. My exhaust guy, he just lives, he, his shop is next to mine basically, he's a neighbor. And he just does first come first serve, he, he works by himself. And I have been there every day for the last like four days and he's just had other shit going on or another car is taking too long, whatever. Well, I went in there yesterday and I said, hey man, I gotta get this done, I, I'm basically done with the build. He said, okay, fine, bring it in the morning. And even then I wasn't sure, but just went over there this morning. He said, yeah, just let me move something out of the way. So it is time to finally get the exhaust on this. I'm gonna take it over there right now. And uh, the next video, she's gonna have exhaust on. We're gonna take her for her final drive, make sure everything is okay. Did a shakedown run on it before, but it wasn't great. It was just kind of a little quick one or two mile. I actually wanna put 10, 15 miles on this before we give it to the customer. I would normally do even more miles than that, but with this motor and transmission, we already know it's good because it came out of a Caprice that he bought and he drove around. So. Uh, we don't have to worry about that as much, but I still want to put some miles on and make sure everything is doing good. I'm excited. She's finally getting exhaust done. He told me 8.30 a.m. It's 9. <laughs> He's not here, but leaving the truck. Okay, she is back from exhaust. You can see them exhaust go down there. It's probably too dark. The only thing I'm worried about is it is really close to the frame rail on the passenger side. Driver's side looks okay. I needed to tune up a couple things. The choke wasn't working right. I did that. My pedal was sloppy. I didn't realize it took a washer. So now the pedal's good. For a while there, the throttle kind of jumped all over. Got that fixed. Tweaked the brakes a little bit. I had a little bit of an air leak coming off of one of my lines. But I'm saying all that to say it's done. We're going to go take it for a drive. I've had this thing out barely. I mean, three or four miles, which is not enough, uh, you know, of a breakdown period to see if anything's going to give us any issues. So let's uh, take her for a little spin and see what happens. Let's take her for a cruise. That scared the shit out of me, but I found out, look, my transmission lines, he must have shifted them over when he did the exhaust and they're catching. So we need to, I don't know, put them on the other side of that radiator hose real quick, because it does not like that at all. All right, let's try this again. So everything is running and driving great. Unfortunately, it is dieseling. And what that means is whenever I turn the key on, it's still running for like 10 seconds. And it doesn't, it's not getting spark. It's literally just, you know, still running through air and compression. 
and maybe a little bit of fuel. There's a couple different reasons they do that. It's usually because it's out of timing, but I have changed the timing every way which possible. It's still doing it a little bit. The other reason that happens is when there's a high carbon buildup on your pistons, basically they're acting like a glow plug like you would on a diesel. The only way to do that is clean it off. So I got some sea foam. If anybody's ever used sea foam before, it's really good to clean out, you know, the inside of your engine. Problem is you will blow smoke for like, I mean, a half a mile. It's crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it up. I'm gonna dump it full of sea foam and then I'm gonna try and get it outside and, you know, try to run it up and down the street a couple times if I can to blow, just blow all this shit out. Hopefully that fixes the problem because I've done everything a million times. It's not getting better. Another thing people say is you need to run higher octane. So maybe that's some of the issue because I think I just put some cheap ass 87 in it. But we're gonna do the sea foam first and see what happens. I'm gonna fire up the GoPro in the back and you'll be able to watch the smoke because it's just crazy how much it is. Funny story, got it figured out. The electric choke, there's something wrong with it where it is leaving the carb open just enough where it's sucking air. I unplugged it, all my problems in a way, so I'm just gonna leave that unplugged. I think the fact that it's 87 octane and not a higher octane, I think that's probably some of our problems. So I think if you were running like a 91 or a 92 octane, I think you could probably plug it back in and you'd be fine, but we're good, everything's okay. I'm not worried about it. It still starts up great real fast, so it doesn't need the choke. It'll probably end up needing the choke, you know, in the winter time, but for now she's cool. I'm gonna clean up some of this wiring a little bit more. I have some uh, wire looms I wanna put on and uh, we're gonna go take it to the car wash and this baby is done. Why don't you like the truck? What's wrong with the truck? Sammy does not like the truck. Tell me about it, Sam. What do you think, Sam? Hey, here, we'll stop, we'll stop. I promise. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. We're taking her to the car wash and uh, we're done pretty excited timing still needs a little bit of a tweak but that's all right oh i think it needs to be tweaked whenever it has some 91 octane in it not 87. still runs pretty damn good <laughs> We're gonna take her on the highway and uh, we're gonna call this a build. It's looking pretty. Cruise is 60 just fine. It's always nerve-wracking in a custom frame. <laughs> a custom frame that you built, no less. Look at this shit. This motherfucker tracks like perfect. <laughs> It is 
done. It has been almost a year, which is crazy. It definitely shouldn't have taken that long, but we're doing a lot of builds here on the channel and I am a one man show, but very, very excited. I basically built the frame from scratch on this thing. The whole front section is built by, you know, quarter inch plate and we grafted a Caprice chassis front end to the international chassis in the rear, just all kinds of work being done. We will do one more video on this before it is completely done. I'll video it getting on the truck and then we'll videotape the reaction of the customer whenever he gets it and he can take it for a spin. This is actually his grandpa's truck. I think he bought it new or he was the second owner. They've owned it for like 50 or 60 years. It's been in the family for a very long time. And I believe his grandpa is gonna be in town to enjoy it and drive it a little bit. So I will put all those in a video whenever he finally gets it. But for now, I am done. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff I tell you at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love you.